my houseless transition is allowing for me to be seasoned by my experience. <laughs> In order to be a chaperone, a spiritual chaperone, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta even went through these places, you know, a chaperone or somebody, you know, that not only went on a field trip, but possibly, you know, in most cases went on the field trip in that place, you know, and they could chaperone, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I look at, you know, me, uh, cause I tell people, you know, a lot of it, partly it was due to me uh, having to do root chakra work, but also by choice, you know, I wanted to, you know, be in that type of lifestyle that living free, you know, by the beach and just, you know, not worrying about, you know, uh, like, oh, shit, I gotta go up and get up and go to work tomorrow, this and that, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I had to sacrifice the, again, the the constant constant foundation of having, you know, again, because my thing was, you know, taking showers, you know, every now and then I had to, because I would feel a vibe. And that's, I knew it, for safe fences too, I know how that correlates directly to the root chakra, again, for us, you know, cause say for instance, uh, having a shelter, stuff like that. Well, if I felt a vibe of like, where I felt like I couldn't approach a female type of vibe, if that, if that, if that vibration was subtly in me, I knew all right, the shower start, you know, it's time to take a shower, it's time to start hitting somebody, I'll find somewhere to go, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take a shower so you get your energy, you know what I'm saying? Cause with me being, uh, you know, not not eating meat and uh the chlorophyll from all the plants you know it uh it kills the bacteria that creates body odor you know so not dealing with that as well but just thought about you know how again just the word like that whole little phrase i don't know it just came down to me like you know your whole little houseless transition is just seasoning your you know seasoning your experience you know making me seasoned in essence you know like adding to my experience you know doing things that allow for me to speak from a first point per person point of view as well you know so when somebody you know oh man i went through this or did that or that, or that, you know how do i come back from doing this, this and that you know a lot of that too is why a lot of us you know go through so much you know in essence you know our, our higher self our own soul put, you know, we chose that life, putting ourselves through the gauntlet, knowing that, you know, as we triumph over, you know, the situation or, you know, or persevere through, you know, we make it to that, you know, to that other side of it, you know, become way more stronger, you know, that pressure that makes a diamond. But, you know, matter of fact, I guess the thought uh, also popped in my head when I thought about it. I'm like, you know, I'm planning on going back to Cali in November. But, you know, it's like, hey, if, you know, if uh, Baton Rouge and New Orleans show, shows, like, you know, what my business uh, prosper, you know, uh, more in this moment, because right now, now's the vibrate. <laughs> What's well, best for, for my now, you know what I'm saying? what's best for the collective right now you know what i'm saying that's it. me me first and foremost and then you know and then the collective but you know, I'm, I'm tapped into the collective so you know but it is it, definitely you know uh you know experience nonetheless I get to realize how good essential oils really work <laughs> you know uh you know, having the finesse with the the shower vibe. Matter of fact, or uh, doing the vibe of uh, how my uh, I want to say my daddy. I don't know if that's the name for it or not, but it's called like a cowboy shower. Like standing uh, in front of the the face bowl, the sink, or whatever, and kind of standing up and kind of taking a towel and you know wiping yourself off. Might have to reach in the pan, <laughs> hit the essentials. <laughs> You know, but, uh, you know, again, it's just all the experience. Because another thing, too, what you realize, how much you see the future. Like, reason why you're able to be so calm and confident in those moments. Because you know that you're going to make it through. You know that, you know, uh, that you're going to persevere. And, and again, just laugh. Like, because I know I would laugh sometimes, like, when I was sleeping out in Venice and I had like my little whatever it's like a little cave 
<laughs> little shelf laying down on this side and then I eventually got a tarp you know and uh you know sleeping out there and I'll be up in there sometimes and just like laughing like on some shit like I'm really enjoying this shit I'm like here it is or some people be like man I'm I'm down bad in life for this and that and I'm sitting in here like laughing and enjoying this moment you know and two also with like uh and I guess that was just a part of like uh, me stepping away from, from sex uh, to kind of just fully balance myself, you know, and just work on myself, you know, with my approach to it. And because I, I tell people not that my approach was, you know, uh, you know, super disrespectful or derogatory in the first manner, but, you know, it had, you know, uh, just remnants of it in essence, you know, uh, because of the little society, little, you know, negativity that, you know, again, leaks into our subconscious because it's always around us and being promoted. But uh, for the most part, you know, that's why I was able to, you know, step back. And that's why I st step back too, because I had enough of sexual experiences, you know, it was like, you know, it ain't enough for me to step back for a little while. <laughs> you know, I was, I wasn't a, a freak freak, but I, you know, I definitely love my sexual experiences. <laughs> and two, though, being really into it, though, like, well, I, I, I like, I always, I always like to please my partner. Like, I was into, you know, like, that's what, what was fun about sex. Like, the only time was, like, in my youngest stages where it was, like, more so about me, you know, uh, like, I'm about getting me, you know what I'm saying? But... At the end of the day, like, because even in those days, in the back of my head, I'm like, nah, dude, man, you know, I feel like I'm not a... Matter of fact, something telling me I feel like I'm not a man if I don't, uh, you know, give the queen some type of pleasure, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, even with all the bullshit that we taught, you know, from our ignorance, you know, uh, whether it's, you know, coming up through slavery and not having no books and not knowing better and not knowing of our own indigenous knowledge. So we getting what the slave master giving us, you know, which in, in essence, their society, you know, from the Catholic church, all that is to up men and put the woman down, you know. So that's what we doing, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing no better, you know, from what we taught. But like, even in those moments, my inner is like, ah, though, bro, like, my high self, like, no, bro, you tripping. <laughs> you know, like, it's about respecting and, you know, having a mutual exchange in that moment, you know. But then from that moment on, you know, again, and I would feel the energy exchange in it, you know, like, I would feel like we, you know, the beneficial, you know. But I digress. <laughs> Like I forgot where I was, uh, where this even started at. But <laughs> again, getting back to that vibe, I ain't had a vibe like that too, cause that's when I'm at my best. Whenever I just, you know, let it flow, you know, straight from spirit instead of let me say something that I logically think that they want to hear. Like, nah, I'ma just start talking and spirit going eventually since i'm not blocking with my logic or my ego spirit going allowed to just kind of float in there grab the steering wheel and <laughs> you know, drive it yeah um, i was going to try to do that little conclusion vibe and go back west <laughs> but October vibes, the thin veil, breaking away from social engineering of the new age spiritual movement, you know, because again, that's why some people may over push crystals as if, you know, again, indirectly, and you, you could just tell where something is pushed to a different platform. So say for instance, you know, they want you to be in a vibe where you don't interact with people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they promote, say, for instance, the crystal as if, you know, you should just sit down by yourself with your crystal all the time, you know. Uh, you know, like, just just anything that, you know, uh, 
cuts off from from the connection. And then two, it, it, it's made to be a mind fuck because here it is, well again, promoting you to uh, to be by yourself, but then they also move through vibes of promoting like group situations, you know? But again, but it's in a, you know, a way where your energy kind of being tampered with and stuff like that, you know? But you, you, but again, they have you wondering like, all right, they're trying to separate me over here, but trying to keep me in the group. And then, and then again, then that's when you really get fucked over is when you're in your mind about the whole situation. Cause here it is now, none of that existing, but you, you, in your thoughts about it. Like, man, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, you know, cause that's the whole tactic to it. You know, that's why I always, as much as I'm bringing it up, I'm bringing it up for awareness, you know? Like it's not, I'm not, cause as I bring that video up, bam, I'm back, I'm out going by my day. Of course, when I see situations that, you know, reminds me of that certain energy, I just laugh like how that might be one of them. <laughs> or just keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is, you know? I'm not gonna be scared of anything, you know, that, uh, you know, I am everything in the universe, just within the little human vessel, the little body suit. Nothing to be afraid of. Energy cannot be destroyed nor created. Remember that. But I don't know why. I, oh, ha! <laughs> Man, that gang go below but beast. <laughs> Speaking of how my house is transitioned, you know, uh, basically, you know, going through this vibe. Matter of fact, and, and indirectly giving me, you know, pushing me to travel. You know, I caught that vibe as well. It's like, you know, like, oh, travel, you know, you don't necessarily uh, need a house right now in essence. Cause when I think about it, I got short stopping right here, you know, in Louisiana where I could, you know, I got family and more family and friends out here. So I got places to take a shower and, you know, in multiple different places, you know? <laughs> so, it's, you know, again, and then travel somewhere else and, you know, catch a vibe. I was even thinking about possibly going to New York instead of back to Cali, but I don't know. But not to stay though. <laughs> But if I catch a vibe for a little while, you know, matter of fact, anybody out there, in New York, I'ma see, I'ma see. But catch a little Airbnb vibe. You know, of course, some type of energetic compensation, whether it be through revenue or you know, goods, services, whatever. However. traveling vibes I definitely see you know again just allowing for me to be seasoned on my growth because you know here it is I'm into philosophy into learning about things and one of the greatest teachers is experience and going in different places and actually going and see what so-and-so live like over here and hope you know so-and-so live like over here or whatever you know really seeing the different vibes instead of just hearing about it from the media because we all know in fact the media was you know and you could go look it up in fact i forgot the name of that book uh give me a second but like uh i'm just trying to find the name of the book that speaks on how you know at first the media all the media platforms is owned by like 86 86 different companies but now have been consolidated into like six different companies now at this point. But, uh, let's see. I think I got it somewhere in here. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I thought I wrote it down. Uh, yeah, a few, uh, so it was a book by Brad Ols Olson future esoteric second edition unseen realms but uh yeah all right 
because I remember writing it down in the uh, in mid 20th century Western mass media was controlled by 86 small corporations now consolidated into six companies as a matter of fact and as I say this the number because this let me tell you how much of a chess game and pool my let me bar spirit moving right now to put me on point with that message right when I'm saying that but how I'm saying six company it could be at this point it could be seven it could be four it could be three it could you know it, just a small number because another thing and, and two that's where they try to use that mind frame in the court of law where you know it's not really six so that's some misinformation that's not the point of this the fact is, is that they consolidated from a bunch of companies to smaller uh, a smaller amount of companies in control to centralize you know how things are run you know what I'm saying that's why all these companies you know why you got coca-cola uh being owned by the people who own tiger stadium and the people who own you know what i'm saying like all these different you know things like you know the guy that owns cnn owns america airlines and this and that and again i'm 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 not saying so as I, this is scenarios. I'm not saying that these people actually own, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, uh, again, because we don't want to give out uh, false information. Th this is the blueprint to the way these things work, but I, I don't, uh, as I'm saying this, I don't have the information in front of me to, you know, say which people, you know, which names of people is over what, you know. But, uh, you know, that, that book definitely, you know. Matter of fact, speak on the Associated Press and Reuters, R E U T E R S. But those two are the sources of information for news companies owned by the Rothschild family. Rothschild break into uh, break down into the word Red Shield. I think you think about like the Knights Templar with the Red Cross. You know, matter of fact, and then Dan uh, Dan Winters break down the vibe of like how the Draconian blood, the reptilians. And how their blood was basically uh, made out of phosphorus. Like they, they were toxic. Like they, they could, they couldn't implode. Their DNA couldn't implode like our DNA implode. Meaning, you know, going inward like a torus field. Because an implosion is a, a living enzyme, you know. But their their torus field, you know, or their energy or DNA couldn't implode, you know, because they were made different. That's why too they promote. Uh, that transhumanism too coming from you know the reptilians down into you know the Rothschilds and Queen you know the Queen of England and all this but the the phosphorus I think looking under looking at it under mic microscope and I got this in other videos so the real the, the real thing but it's something about so again don't quote me in this area right now but I got the the realness in other videos when I speak on this uh, but like the phosphorus like has like a there's it was said that the, you know that the uh the draconian uh beings had like a phosphorus in their blood you know matter of fact almost like oily type of you know uh fiery energy or ele element inside but anyway the phosphorus had like a, a red color in it like when seen under a microscope stuff like that so you know uh adding to the fact of you know the draconian the reptilians and then the you know red chill rothschild family you know matter of fact and then they talk about uh and i spoke on this in another video i'm uh most certain but just to brush on it again with uh monsanto we'll look up monsanto m-o-n-s-a-n-t-o you know again it's time for us to be you know speaking up on this knowledge you know because matter of fact on the one of the videos uh not what the health but there's another video i mean another documentary about uh the food industry on uh netflix where the farmers was like man basically man it's just up to y'all being knowledgeable about the thing because it's like you know uh the store is only gonna put again like they only gonna play us to the extent of that we allow them to you know like uh for the most part uh once we become more knowledgeable and don't eat that shit and they see we not buying it then they're gonna put the good shit on the shelf because they they money they they little digits is gonna suffer so it's like you know that comes through our awareness you know a boycotting 
and not even using the word boycott, but just getting staying away from things that's like that has soy in it and stuff like that that's you know produced by Monsanto and throwing our bodies off. But uh, you know, yeah, that's basically it. I don't want to get deep into. It. But see this video just <laughs> again. Matter of fact, don't forget about Project Rainbow. Go check that out if y'all not familiar with that. Uh, be, uh, better known as the Philadelphia Experiment took place in October 28th. Ooh, October when that veil thin. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, no coincidence. <laughs> uh, took place in October 28, 1943. Uh, U.S. Navy ship Eldridge entered a brief time warp. And matter of fact, this in essence is quoted from uh, the book that I talked about. Brad Olson is the author future esoteric second edition unseen realm and matter of fact because in this book i i saw you know some of it some of it you know from what my intuition told me you know not fact checking it in essence but like uh some of this stuff is kind of with the bullshits you know a little bit you know but a lot of the information in that book is very helpful as well you know that's where you get to see where you know some people just may be ignorant to certain things or just at a certain part of their growth and expressing themselves and there ain't nothing wrong with that you know everybody may not be giving out misinformation on purpose you know what i'm saying just like how i done slipped you know uh slipped up at some points uh not knew fully of a situation and only had you know knew a little bit of it or whatever and still did a video you know but again knowing though that you know uh we learn from mistakes <laughs> And you gotta be in the now. I would've had paralysis and not even did videos in the first place if I'd have felt like I have to perfectly know every little thing of everything in the world. Or it's like, nah, you know, I'm an extremely knowledgeable person. I'ma start from there. <laughs> you know, like work my way on up. But uh, yeah, the Project Rainbow took place October 28, 1943. U.S. Navy ship Eldridge entered a brief time warp. Some of the crew reported to be alive while their bodies were infused with the ship. Mostly all the crew were institutionalized for mental disorders or committed suicide. Project... Committed suicide. You know how that works. <laughs> Go watch, matter of fact, Wormwood on Netflix. That speak on the MK Ultra and LSD uh, situation, which is like a docu series. Docu series where it actually has the the the, the, the brethren who, you know, may have committed suicide, you know, but was a part of those first experiments, you know, with LSD. But it has his son on the, you know, speaking on certain real time situations that he remember as a little kid, you know, and uh. And then they actually got reenactments of the situation as well on that. But Wormwood, W O R M W O O D. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, damn, I, mean, I was thinking while we speaking of projects, let me throw another one in there. There was one during uh, the Kennedy administration where they was trying to push it, 